Hello, Internets. I bring to you the first in a series of Rust geocaching brought to you by the Rusted Metal server. And the idea for this event is going to be that I have created a stash on the server somewhere, and I'm going to show you some of what's inside, the area around it, and the first person to get to it will get to claim all of the stuff that's in there. The key will be available just outside. I will show the location here. So, Rusted Metal is the server. The IP address is here if you want to use the console to connect direct. It's client.connect and then the IP address. But if you find it in community, this is the Rusted Metal server. We just started the server up yesterday and working on recruiting more people to join the server, so everyone is welcome. We will hope we'll be doing more geocaching events like this in the future. This first one's going to be pretty simple, straightforward. There's very few people on the server, so getting to it is the biggest... Getting to it first will be the toughest part. Future events will have better hidden stashes, but with also better supplies. This first one's pretty simple. So, there are a number of boxes here. Some of them are empty. I didn't get to filling all of them up. Some of them have simple supplies for starting out your base. There is a stone spear, as you saw, lots of wood, lots of stone. Enough stuff to get you started. A couple of other boxes with things that I found in oil barrels in the area while I explore. The base is built inside a prefab structured warehouse. It's sealed from the outside, so unless you destroy a wall or use the key, you can't get in. This is the area out front. It's right next to one of the roads. The key will be up here behind one of these rocks. And then after this, I will give a, I will walk up top the nearest hills to give a better view of the area. And that will be that for this video. First person to get to the key and get inside gets the loot. Or the second person, if you kill the first person before they get away with the loot. All's fair in rust and war. Keys in this box here next to this rock. Warehouse is right down the hill. And up we go. And you can still see the warehouse there. You won't be able to see the warehouse from up top here, but get a better view of the rest of the island. much as I can. I'll walk up this way a ways. You will get... Oh good, a bear. One moment please. Sorry for the distraction. Moving on. this. All right. That is this general direction. Learn from it what you can to help you find the location. I will also run down the road a little ways. Try to give a better overview of some of this area hard to see from within the forest on this mountain. Future note for geocaching. Plan my vantage points for getting a bird's eye view of the area better. Ah, this is a pretty good view. 
snow mountains over there looks like a lake right in here sand coming up in and the warehouse will be right through this way away from that area of sand there up through this valley beware of animals I will gather this meat and drop it off back at the loot drop as well so whoever gets it will have some food cloth bone fragments wolf skull if you're into that kind of thing I'm not quite nice enough to leave my bolt-action rifle for you, but I will leave some 5.56 ammo. As well as the armor that I have on, which is a chest armor I got out of an airdrop. I love me my bolt-action though, so you can't have that. Future geocaching will use a keypad instead of a... crap, that's right. <laughs> extra stuff's going to be in the campfire out front, so really anybody can get this stuff. I don't want to go grab the key just to put some stuff inside. But yeah, future ones will have a keypad instead of the wood key lock like this so that I can give the key code out at the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope to do more like this in the future. Happy hunting.